All right, so we're going to look at lesson 1.3 in harnessing human energy. We're going to start with a warm up where you're going to discuss some of the misconceptions about energy. Then we're going to use the sorting tool to sort through kinetic and potential energy. It gives me a chance to better understand where your understanding of kinetic and potential energy is. Then we'll have a demonstration that um, I'll handle through the video. You'll have a reflection and then a short homework assignment at the end. We are in lesson 1.3. And the first thing uh, I want you to do is the warm up. So in uh, lesson 1.3, you have a warm up. And uh, 1.3 warm up asks you to read this email from Sasha, Energy Research Lab client. Okay. And answer uh, this question. Let me uh, refresh this and see if Amplify comes through. Recording this in real time. So, all right. <clears throat> so, read question number one and answer this, and then explain your answer in complete sentences in this space below. I just I need you to to recognize that if you don't use complete sentences, I will not give you credit. So, take a couple of minutes answer the warm up and then come back to the video after that. Okay, we're gonna come back and take a look at uh, this evidence of energy sorting tool. And it looks very similar to the sorting tool that you used uh, in lesson 1.1. But if we head on over there, what you'll see is you'll see our objects. All right. And for some reason, the images aren't coming through for me, but I hope they come through for you. And instead of sorting them by things that you think have energy and things that you don't think or you don't uh, think have energy. Now we're going to sort them by things that I cannot see evidence of or I can see evidence of. So I'll go back to the soccer ball here. Um, flying through the air, all right? I can see evidence of energy because it's, it's moving. So remember, energy is the ability to make things move or change. So if I see the soccer ball moving, I'm going to say that there's energy there, all right? So what I want you to do is I want you to take a few moments and stop the video and go ahead and answer uh, these two questions take sort all of these objects into things that you do not see evidence of energy, things that you do see evidence of energy, and then come up here and hand it in. Okay. After you hand it in, I'm going to explain to you two different types of energy. All right. So go ahead and pause and come back. All right, so now I've got my sorting tool and I don't want you to do, I just want you to pay attention to me, okay? I have my sorting tool with uh, different categories, potential energy and kinetic energy, all right? So kinetic energy is energy when something is moving, okay? So anytime an object is in motion, it's displaying energy, we call that kinetic energy. So the soccer ball flying through the air, that demonstrates kinetic energy, all right? The fan spinning demonstrates kinetic energy, all right? Water falling demonstrates kinetic energy. When something has the ability to make things move or change in the future, we call that potential energy, even if it's not moving right now, okay? So a stretched bow and arrow, 
if that's still, all a person has to do is let go of it and we will see kinetic energy. So therefore, we have potential energy. There is potential for kinetic energy to take place. Skateboard at the top of a ramp. If it's sitting still at the top of a ramp, we have potential energy. All right? It will demonstrate kinetic energy if it gets pushed, if it gets nudged a little, then it will demonstrate. Okay? So potential energy is when something has the ability to make things move or change in the future, but isn't moving or changing now. And kinetic energy is when something is moving and changing now. Okay? So let's uh, take a look at, I've got a video here. That's not me. Okay, I've got a very exciting uh, video here where we're going to take a look at some uh, hopefully very well-known objects to, for you. So let me uh, get this started. And here I have two uh, two wind uh, come on two wind up cars. All right. So you're familiar with this, right? If you put a car out there and uh, it's not moving, right? And then I've got another wind up car that as I pull it back, it winds up and then I let it go and they take off, okay? In Amplify, I have under section three, I have three questions. We're gonna kind of pull the, the class here, okay? So I'm gonna start this video again so you can uh, watch it. And the question is one, a wind up toy that's not wound up. Okay, so I do that here in a second. Boom, a wind up car that's not wound up. Does that not have energy? Does it have kinetic energy, potential energy, or does it have a both, kinetic and potential energy? Then uh, here I have a wound up car that's not moving right there, okay? So the question, and this is all in Amplify that you'll just click. Does it have energy? Does it have kinetic energy? Does it have potential energy? Or does it have both? Okay. And then the final is that when I wind it up and let it go, does it have energy? Does it not have energy? If it has energy, is that kinetic, potential, or both? That one took off on me. Did you notice that? Whew, came back at me. Had so much. So I want you to take a moment. Go into Amplify, Section 3, and there's a short poll there. Just answer. Just highlight the, the ones that you think are the right answers, and then select uh, Hand In. In fact, I can bring that... Let me, uh, so many bells and whistles and things. So this is what it's going to look like here. Okay. Section three. And you're going to say, do you think it has energy? Uh, so does it not have energy? Kinetic. If you think it does have energy, is it kinetic? Is it potential? Is it both? All right. Answer these three and then hit hand in. All right, <clears throat> section uh, four and five are pretty straightforward. It won't take you too long. Section four is a reflection. So understanding uh, what we've talked just basic about potential energy and kinetic energy, I want you to select one of these items. So you're either gonna select the skateboard or the charged battery or food or the stretched bow and arrow. And tell me which one of those you think has potential energy. So you get to choose. And then down here, why do you think 
that it has potential energy. Again, has to be in complete sentences. So you get to pick one of those and you get to justify it, all right? Then the homework, oh wait, make sure when you do that, you hand it in to me, okay? And then for the homework, I've got two simple questions here for you. Again, in complete sentences. Your answers must be in complete sentences. What is one way that kinetic energy might be involved in rescue team missions? So go back and think about the video that we saw with lesson 1.1. What's one way that kinetic energy might be involved in the kinetic, uh, in the rescue team missions? And then the second question is, what's one way that potential energy might be involved in these rescue team missions? Okay. So complete sentences, answer those two, and then hit hand in and you are done.